Hi, good thanks. Hi, good evening. Fernando. Good evening, welcome. sorry. Good evening. How, How are you? you doing? I'm all good. And you? Uh, very good, thanks. All uh, right. Teacher, uh, yes. I, I can't turn 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 on the camera because I'm driving right now. Oh, I see. Okay. No, not a problem. Yes. Be careful. Where are you coming okay. from? Where are you coming from? Or where are you Sorry? going? Where are you coming from? Or uh, where are you going? From home to uh, from work from to my house. Mm -hmm. From from road to house. <laughs> All right. And then what what do you work? I work at Wiley Getcom. Okay. All right. And and you live? Uh like. Um, um, around Redondel Constitución. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, you get uh, most of the traffic, right? Yes. Traffic is terrible. Good. So I got Ernesto. Welcome yes. back, Ernesto. Yes. So drive safe. I got Monica, Jocelyn, Jaime Quintanilla. Hi. Good um, evening. Good evening. Welcome. Alexis, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Uh, how was your day? Something interesting during the day or the same old ground? Same old ground, like the same routine, nothing new. Okay, good. Almost uh, the same. <laughs> almost the same. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to, in my case, I'm to uh, take track of my last day of vacation because I will start on uh, Thursday. On Thursday, <laughs> okay. And what yeah. have you? What have and you done? I'm going to stay tomorrow. You're gonna you're gonna stay tomorrow. I'm going to start tomorrow my vacation. Oh, start! <laughs> I'm gonna start. Okay, yeah. that's nice. It's nice. But do you have any <laughs> yeah. plans? Do you have any, any yeah, plans I, or just to be at the home? No, no, no. I I want to go to to Guatemala, and I have a friends in Mexico. And if I have luck, I'm going to. If I have luck, if I have luck. Yeah. Look, yes, you have. I will go. Yes. You have look. Look is like a looking, like uh, like a uh, appearance, <laughs> like, the appearance, right? The appearance. But then uh, yeah. this, this case is luck. Good. Uh, no, no, say SV. Can you change your, 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 your name? Carlos, right? Antonio? Carlos Antonio, can you change your yeah, name? I'm sorry. All right. Perfect. I'm on it. I'm on it. All right. Thank you. I got James Quintanilla. James, is, is this your first day, James? No, right? You were last week. Yes. Yes. Uh, tonight is my first night uh, with you guys. Good night. Good night. Uh, my name is Jaime Quintanilla. Nice to meet you. N nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. And nice to meet you. And so what, what do you do, James? And what do you work? Well, I work in, in McCormick, the Central America. Uh, I don't know if you hear about it. McCormick is the, oh, yes. the company who stole mustard sounds, mayonnaise. And uh, I'm I'm in the department of Chi. She is the department inside, uh, in charge of the health and environment. And I'm in that area. All right. Yeah, when, when you said the, 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 the name of McCormick, yeah, it's the sandwiches came to my mind. <laughs> yes, that, that, that's the association, yeah. right? That you need these kind of uh, sausages to prepare these kind of sandwiches. Okay, very nice. So, yeah. and, uh, w where's your company located? Uh, it is in Antiguo Cocatlan, uh, uh, near from the Spencer. La Despensa de Don Juan. I don't know if you in here, if you know about it, about it. If you hear about it. No, yes. Can you yes, yes, we have an idea. Yes. All right, so welcome, James. Uh, my name is uh, Giovanni Alexander Maldonado. Well, well known as teacher, right? That's it. 
teacher is okay, no problem, or Alexander, no problem. So welcome, I hope, you know, we, we get along well. They, these are very nice fellas, and uh, these people are very active, which is, is good. Okay. Yes, English, English, we need to be proactive, right? You need to, because a lot of people, they, they are very bashful when it comes about communicating or, or talking with another person. But you need to get definitely get rid of this bashfulness that will never help you to, uh, in this case, improve English. Bashful? Bashful? The word bashful? bashful. It's a new What's for the you? meaning of that? Good question. Any yeah, idea? I didn't remember here before. You never heard, heard this before? Bashful. Okay. Claudia? No. No? No. Okay. All right, let's see, um, Carlos, Antonio. No, I don't have any idea for, from this word. Okay, bashful, uh, bashful yes. My first bashful. time here. Your first time, good. Leslie? <laughs> don't ask me because I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, this it's is a... Like no. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly like when you say, for example, we all know like shy, right? Shy. You can say shy. shy. Bashful is exactly the same. It's a person that uh, avoids conversation. Someone that will never begin a conversation. But, but in English, you need to uh, definitely you need to get rid of uh, rid of you need to get rid of that, you know, bashfulness. You need to be proactive all the time, especially here. I don't know if it, during the day you had the opportunity to practice or maybe the ones that are in the English environment, but then uh, most of the time we don't have the chance to practice with someone. But when you have the opportunity, go for it. Go for it. You need to practice. So there are some things that we need to get rid of. Get rid of. Um, is, is, is this okay? Uh, let me see. Jocelyn? The, the expression get rid of do you understand the yeah. expression get rid of all right what what is that jocelyn yeah. what is get rid of it, it's like practicing practicing mm, well it's a little bit different but thank you thank you any idea for example if you are very bashful if you are shy if you don't like to talk be brave you need to get rid of get rid of shyness get rid of shyness or for example if you have let's say that a bad habit you're always late for something right archila you always arrive late no i'm not saying you're always <laughs> late but let's say as an example right <laughs> yeah. yeah don't don't take me wrong right it's not it's not you that you're late you're always on time in my case <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm late. Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> but um, let's say that. But someone that there's people that they have this habit that they're always late for everything. For everything, right? They always they're always late. So you need to get rid of that habit. Get rid of. Understand? Maybe the context. Like remove. Uh -huh. It's like removing or stop to doing something. Exactly. It's, it's basically, it's like when you remove something or when you throw something, something that you don't need. Something that you don't need, you need to throw it, throw it away. So that's get rid of, the expression get rid of. If you have a bad habit, you need to remove it. Especially something that Teacher, works. Um, yes. and and get get rid of. It is similar to say a strike out. Strike out, exactly it's the different. same. Yeah, it's the same. It's oh. the same context. Uh, this is more common, like a, a, a idiomatic expression, right? Something that you don't need, <laughs> or something that is interfering for you to for you to get something. You need to get rid of this. Get rid of that's the expression. Okay. Or like, like, for example, let's see, Leslie, and your, and your, let's say your closet, you still have clothes from uh, maybe uh, 2015, clothes that you know that you will never wear again. 
You need to get rid of that clothes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Or old oh, shoes that you don't have or you don't like, you need to get rid of. All right. That, that's the context. Get rid of. All right. So, um, bad good example. <laughs> yes. Good example. Or bad habits. Smoking, for example, I, I understand people right. like to smoke, but sometimes early in the morning, 5 a.m., people smoking at this time. So it's a habit that's, you know, it's recommendable to get rid of. But at the end, it's up to everybody. Good. So welcome. Now the majority is here. First, we're going to begin with uh, uh, like a short video. And then uh, we have some speaking. And yesterday uh, we were working in pairs that today you have five minutes to talk. And try to remember your partners because I know who you were working with. Like, uh, let's say, um, uh, Archila, who were you working with yesterday? Who uh, were you working with? I worked with um, Alexis. Alexis, right? So with Mr. Raymundo. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Anna, who were you working with, Anna? I guess I was working with Vilma. With Vilma. I remember. <laughs> with Vilma. Uh -huh. Vilma, I guess. Vilma. Beatrice, is that right? I don't remember. You don't remember? Vilma, do you remember who was your partner yesterday? Uh, last partner that I had was uh, Guillermo. It was not Anna? At the beginning, it was Anna. No, but at the I, beginning, uh -huh. was Anna. But but at the end, uh, that I told you that you and that you I, needed I to work in pairs. With Vanessa and yes, the last, uh, yes, it was Guillermo. The... It was Guillermo. Okay, Anna. So I think it was another one. Okay, but we're gonna talk about that in a moment. Yes, right now I'm gonna send you something that we need to watch in uh Try to write down, for example, vocabulary or expressions or something that uh, calls your attention because that's the idea to learn something new. If you are able to learn three new words in one day and put it into practice, that's a meaning, meaningful learning. Yes, but always have, uh, I always tell everybody to have this habit of writing or having something where to write new things, right? new expressions, because that will help you. Because sometimes uh, you want to use one of these sentences or you will see one of these expressions and you will not remember. But then if you have it in a place, so then you can go and just and check. Good. So right now, um, we're going to do a short uh, listening, but we're going to do it individually. And then we return. It's just for around four minutes, okay. no more than that. Just give me a second. Ah, someone is happy with good music. All right, here we go. It's individual. I'm going to send it to the group. Listen, copy, and then we talk. Okay, go ahead. All right. Right, everybody? Everybody, Thomas, uh, except George. It's recording from. No, no, not that one, not that one. Hello. Hello. Teacher, I was I went to the breakup room, but it was only me in the yeah, it's in true. The session. It, right now it's individual. It's it's only you. Uh, uh yes. Uh, I'm gonna send uh, I already sent uh, ah, okay. 
like a video okay. that you need to watch, copy and try to understand and then tell me what is it about. Okay. Ah, okay. All right, let me send you back. Okay, to the same. sorry. Thank don't worry, it's okay. Uh, Vanessa, right? <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes, there you go, Vanessa. You can accept the invitation now. Hello, Mr. Lucero. Good evening, Mr. Hey, Lucero. Teacher, what? How you doing? No good? I'm sorry for the late. Don't worry, it's okay. Yeah, pretty good. It's better late than never. I, I remember when uh, uh, this, this girl used to call you loser. <laughs> Do you remember? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't out of net you said no don't call me like that out of net out of internet yes yeah All she's right. gonna be a mom really yeah okay that's Alejandra nice. is too he's gonna be a mom really and how do you know that yeah and how, how do you know yeah, that? because Alejandra is work, working with me and Aronet uh Sometimes I'm chat with her. With her. Oh, she's gonna be a, a mother. Okay, that's nice. It's gonna be a big baby. <laughs> she stole. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna she be stole. a big baby. A baby. Uh, if it is a boy or a girl, yes, I think it's gonna be tall. Yes, but it's okay. How about you? Yeah. Well, about me. Are you uh, gonna have you a see baby? My... A baby pretty soon? Nah, right? You're yeah, so... I have a... You have, I have already? I have a son. I... Yeah, he's two years. Oh, I forgot that. Okay, but not a problem. Yes, right now, um, uh, Guille, we're, we're doing some, uh, uh, like a listening that I sent to the group. And uh, we're working in uh, individually, right? So you need to listen and then come back and, and tell me what, what is it about. So you can accept the invitation and then we'll right. go to the WhatsApp group. Okay, go, you can go now. All right. All right.
Hello, Jocelyn. Finish. Miss Her Hercules. Yeah. Hey, you have a very nice last name. It's a very le legendary last name. I know. Okay. I don't like it. You, you don't like it? Why? And that is my. No, I, I don't know. But I, it's, it's a very <laughs> um, famous so. name. I, I even remember when, when I was a kid, I, I used to uh, listen or we used to watch some uh, programs with uh, Hercules. Hercules, and, and, and that was like this kind of uh, Greek uh, myth, right? Like the son of, uh, what is it, uh, of Zeus. Uh, that, that's, that's a really nice story. Where is your last name coming from? Yeah. Where is this last name from? Uh, I have no idea. Maybe from Spain? I uh, just know that. Mm -hmm. And um, what did you get it from? Father maybe, or your mother? It sounds kind of um, both. <laughs> both? Do they have the same last name? Yeah. Uh, is for two. <laughs> Really? So your your father is Hercules and your mother is also Hercules? Yes. Okay, that's very unique. That's true. So, you, so you're <laughs> da, double Hercules. Okay. I don't know if I can call it unique, but yeah. Okay, nice. Hercules is a very um, <laughs> interesting... Uh, I don't know if you remember, but when we were kids, uh, we used to watch some programs and the Hercules and the history and, and all these uh, Greek uh, myths that they have. It's very interesting. Good. So let me call everybody. Yeah, and actually I watched a movie at the cinema like three years ago. The, the Hercules movie with Dwayne Johnson, yeah. right? Okay, yes. Good. Uh, so how was it? Very understandable? Very understandable or do you have questions? Uh, please ask me questions. If I don't know. Yeah, I have a, a couple of questions. All right, <laughs> vocabulary, questions, what? expressions. Yeah. Yes, go, go ahead. What, what, what be a maverick stands for? maverick all right he Is said it, yeah uh -huh. he said don't try to be a maverick yeah it's like uh being great on something being an expert uh. on something right it's being an expert on something <laughs> right the first time around you will never get it right so there are some things that you will never get the first time but you need to try it again right so don't expect to be ma maverick at this, the first time you need mm -hmm. to practice, right? A lot of practice. Thank you. Any other question? Any other vocabulary? Yeah, <laughs> I have other one. All right. Um, leaving no stone unturned. Again? Leaving no stone unturned. Like, unturned, uh-huh. I don't know. Yeah, on turn. What, what is the, 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 the whole sentence? Um, it's the rule number five where he mentioned that we need to work our butts off. So he mentioned something about not leaving um, no stone unturned. Okay, let me let me get that. So so I get can I can get the context. Yeah, I have uh, mm -hmm. watch it. Just give me a second. Okay. Was one, Thank you. Was, uh, talking about Muhammad Ali. I, yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I, I understand that the context, but let me give you uh, the, what is the, 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 the right meaning. Just give me a second. Uh, 
Rule number five. Just give me one second. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna take me too too much. Okay, uh yes, it's about Mohammed Ali. <laughs> let me yeah, I need to give you that context. L let me let me let's listen. So so you can tell me wh wh where is it? Just give me a moment. That's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. That's the way it is. No games, no games. And let me tell you. Before that. <laughs> before this? Just a minute before that. Yeah. Party, many sit ups you do. Muhammad Ali. Almost there, almost there. Almost there. Okay. I've always believed leaving no suit. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Yeah. There Good. is. This one? Yes. It says, I'm yes. always believe, leaving no stone unturned. All right. Any, mm -hmm. any unturned? Any idea, Leslie? Does something come to your mind? Mm, for example, that like um, she mentioned to like to to dig deeper in everything, mm -hmm. like no uh, leave uh, any idea or any option that we can take um, in the future. I mean, trying to do our best or trying to um, apply any uh, um, or ideas that. Even though these ideas are crazy, uh, we, we can take the um, we can take the risk to try. I think. Yeah, it's it's, it's kind of related. And when it says uh, leaving no stone unturned, it's like uh, you don't need to like postpone something that is related to something. It's like you need to be careful with all details. He's right. He's a, a, an athlete where he was when he was uh, exercising, he needed to do all the, all the things related with the exercises, not, not to leave or just ignore one thing. You need to include everything if you want to finish your goal or achieve your goal. So you cannot leave a, a stone unturned. Yeah, that, that's the meaning. You cannot, like, for example, let, let me see, uh, like in English, for example, I, I, a lot of students, they, there was one guy who told me, I want to learn English, I want to practice, I want to communicate, but I don't like grammar. I don't want to know anything about grammar. So whenever I have grammar class, <laughs> I will not come. But you cannot leave this away, right? You need to be, it has to be part of it. Good, thank you. Any okay. any other one? Thank you. Yes, welcome. You said that you have another one? Any other question? Me or someone uh, else? I don't know. Someone else? Any other question? I no? have I have a teacher. Yes. Yes. Uh, for example, I, I don't understand the meaning of naysayers. Uh, rule number four. Um, don't listen to the naysayers. Yes. Like this. Okay. Yes. Very good. Any idea that someone might have with the word naysayer? For example, uh, people that always are thinking on uh, negative ways. Mm -hmm. it, th that is the meaning, yes. It's the, the people that uh, will give you a negative feedback. Someone that will like ah, okay. uh, discourage you someone that will discourage you, someone that will dismotivate you from doing something. It's like, uh, I don't know, a pessimist people that will give you uh, bad, uh, maybe uh, advices, like don't do that, you're, you're wasting your time, you're too old for this, all right? Like this kind of feedback, that, that's a, a naysayer people. Okay. All right. Okay. Any and, other one? Another one is 
yes, the the rule number five, work your butt up. But, but up. Okay. Pronunciation. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is more colloquial. Yeah, this, yeah, it, it's okay. Yeah, it's how like, you a, it's like no. when you, how do you pronounce it? Yes, it's but. The pronunciation. But, yes. Mm, ah, it, it's, ah, okay. This is, this is more colloquial, more colloquial when you tell someone like, hey, Michael, if you want something, you need to work very hard. You need to sacrifice. If you want to get something in a more colloquial way, you need to work your butt off. Like uh, in a, uh, in, 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 but, but, but off, right? But of course we don't translate, we don't translate. It's just the context that we need to work very hard to get something. Yes, yes, but it does the meaning. Like for example, in Spanish, we, how do you say that when uh, tenés que trabajar duro? How would you say that in a more colloquial way? Tenés que echarle ganas. Kind of related, uh -huh. but this is more yeah, colloquial. Yeah. Uh -huh. In Spanish, uh -huh. in the huevos. <laughs> yeah, like maybe it's kind of like <laughs> that, or, or it could be like sudar la camiseta or sudar la gota gorda. I don't know if you have heard those expressions, right? That's that's the meaning. It's like something that is more colloquial. It's not really formal, formal, but it's it's part of the language, right? Colloquial. Yes, good. Any other expression or something? No, thank you. No, everybody, something else? No? No more? Everything is clear? I have an expression. All right. Horsing around. Oh, that's a good one. A uh, horse around. Good. Any idea that you might have with this one? Horse around? Uh, Ernesto? Like wasting your time, <laughs> not doing something that um, gives you like a good thing for your life. <laughs> and that is uh, that is the meaning. Yes. For example, have you seen a horse when a horse is 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 just is running on the same place, just running because of, just because of, with no orientation, uh, with no directions, with no vision. So that's, that's a, an expression, horse around is basically waste your time. Not doing anything productive. You're just wasting your time. Don't horse around. A lot of people are horsing around, just wasting their time and not doing anything. Yes, that's the meaning. Anything else? Okay, thank like you. don't worry about the time, right? Again? It's like don't worry about the time, right? Um, yeah, you don't worry about the time, but in reality, uh, it's like uh, you're just you can take your time. Let's say that living your the life, right? But doing nothing. Like, I, I don't know if, if you know cases like people they are not studying, they are not working, they are not doing anything at all, right? They're just horsing around, or could be in another context, like uh, some people they are studying, supposedly right, but they go to the maybe to university just to waste time, just to get out of their houses and, and you know spend money, no people, but they're not learning anything. And they and they are like, for example, like 10 years in one career, they are horsing around, wasting their time only. I don't know if you understand that context. It's like when you waste your time in something. That's the meaning. Okay, thank you. Something else? No more questions? No more questions? Okay. No. No? Okay. Uh, now, let me ask you. Uh, for example, when he, when he said, uh, let me see, Jacqueline, you can climb the ladder to success with your hands and your pocket. What does it mean? Uh, you can climb? You can climb the, the ladder to success with your hands in the pocket. Uh, if maybe if you don't fail or 
discover something uh, you never do. Uh, you never do uh, something good or achieve your goal. Okay. So that means that if you want something, right, nothing will come to you. You need to go in and look for it. You, you need to do something uh, to achieve uh, any goal. Otherwise, it's not that easy. It's like, for example, uh, you can say that, uh, what, uh, finishing a career, for example, you cannot just finish a career just by going to one class and then skipping the whole month and then returning to another class. No, you need to do it with both hands, means full-time attention to achieve something. Otherwise, it's not possible. So you can climb something with, without hands. You need to use all your body to climb something. So that's basically. Now, uh, I'm going to give you a short time. So we, we discuss this and then we return. No more than five minutes in uh, what you understood because it's going to take too much time to go one by one. So uh, let me. Now we, we are 20. Good. Now let's practice with, with partner. What was that about? What you understood? That's it. Is what you understood. Now go with your partner. All right. Tatiana. Hello, Tatiana.
watch the video, right? Yes, I, I just listen, listen the, the... The video was about successful kind of the same we watch um, on Friday, I think. Was. Yes, about Amazon, about yeah, it, entrepreneurs. It was, uh, um, it's motivation, right? It's yeah. about motivation. I motivate rules. Uh, in the video, he was talking about six rules um, in order to be successful, of course. Yes. And um, what I were have... those rules? What were and those rules? The first one was trust yourself. What does it mean? He said that sometimes that we really have to believe it. Sometimes we used to be so negative. And I think it's connected with be afraid of fail. Um, because sometimes uh, we are so insecure. And maybe that is it's a problem because that like stop us in order to do something. And we really have to believe that we can. All right, that's correct. And number two, Medardo, what was the number two? Rule number two. Uh, I, I remember that he said like uh, break the rules. All right, and now uh, what, what was that? Yes. I I I couldn't I, I don't pretty sure about this mini teacher, but I that I can understood a little bit is like um for example say we have so many rules and everything so but um our, 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 in the life we have we have uh, many rules for everything, thing. but I think teacher that the most important is that we we need the this word teacher love is like love L A W because I can read the not the law but break the rules. Yes, it's true. Yes, don't break the yeah, you can break the rules, but don't break the law, right? The law, right? You, we cannot. But break the rules is like uh, when you uh, break the records. Break records, that's the meaning, right? For example, someone can tell you, nah, uh, no, you can't do this because it's too much. Mm -hmm. It's like a stereotype that we have. But then you need to break that rule. You need to break that stereotype and, and do more, right? Um, I don't know, maybe, for example, someone can tell you, no, Jocelyn, you can run more than 20 kilometers, right? It's too much. It's okay. 20 is, is the maximum that we run. But then you have to break that rule and give more, maybe 25, something, right? Yeah. Um, someone can tell you, yeah, you can have only one job. Yeah. To have two jobs is it's, it's crazy that it's not right, but... Who says that? Mm -hmm. Is that just a rule that someone has? But you can have two incomes. You gotta break the rules. Yes. Yeah. Something. Believe me that I I I am, I am thinking about this. In my case, for example, I I try to break the rules in, about about work or some job, for example, because you know uh, the money never is enough. So sometimes I thinking that <laughs> that my little song needs needs more, something. right? Yeah. So uh, sometimes I, I thinking about I need another job. So of course, maybe I can I can break the rules. <laughs> you break the rules, and not just one. Uh, uh, normally, the, the rules that we have we as Salvadorians is like a one job, one salary, right? 
One job, one salary. Yeah. That, that's, uh, do you have a job? Okay, so you have a salary. Good, perfect. You're okay there. But that's like stereotype that we have. We need to look for other options. Maybe, uh, I don't know, on the weekend or a part-time or I don't know, your own thing. More incomes, more money. So you're breaking those stereotypes. Right? Take advantage about your, your age. Age, now, for yes, example. right now to do things. Yeah. Don't, don't, he said, don't yes. force around. It's wasting time. No. Like Jocelyn, yeah. now, you look pretty young, Jocelyn. 20, 22, 23, how old you are? 21. 21? Almost yeah. 22. Almost 22. Look, see? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you you That's are, right. I, I think you're the youngest maybe in the group now, right? Maybe you're, you're the, one of the youngest. 21, 22, yes. Yeah. So let's say like, like Medardo and I probably, we're not very old, but maybe we're on in our 30s, 33, 4, right, Medardo? 32. There you go, right? We are almost on the same page. Yeah. All right. But <laughs> yes, uh, right now, Jocelyn, in your time, yes. Like, yeah. like what, what you're doing right now, uh, for example, working, I don't know if you're studying at the university, are you? You should, you better study, no? But you will, maybe, right? You Next will year. Okay, there you go. So you have a yeah. plan. And then, uh, you, yeah. you, and then you're going to be a bilingual professional. You're going to have a big future, many chances in the future. Yeah, you will see the difference. Yes, because this, this, <laughs> this is the right age. Yes, uh, you're not wasting your time because you are working, uh, learning, practicing English, and then you want to study. So that means that you're on the right way. Good. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's yeah. basically yeah. like a right. motivation, right? <laughs> That video yeah. was about motivation. Okay, we're gonna go back in a moment, right? Just give me a second. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Finish, Mr. Koto. Actually, I was laughing because I was alone. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Sorry, then. <laughs> you, 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 you had the option to, for example, ask for help or, uh, I don't know, uh, send a reaction, like, uh, I don't know, requesting something. Yeah. I'm you... hearing what's up. <laughs> oh, I'm I sorry. I'm sorry, I, I was not looking at the what's up right now. Yes, but whenever, because sometimes that happens when you go and work with someone else and then uh, probably the other person will get disconnected. So you can ask for help or you can send, I don't know, something in, in the group so we can see it. Sorry, Mr. Cotto, he was practicing by himself. Okay. Yes. Hello. Okay. Hello. Great. Yeah, th that was just uh, something related about motivation, right? Things that we can do in life if you want to achieve something. It's about doing hard work. Hard work will take you to uh, success. Yes. Doing the, the, the cushy things will never take you to the highest uh, part. Cushy things, it's, it doesn't work. It will give you cushy, uh, let's say, results. Uh, probably I have a new word for you. Cushy things. Cushy. 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 Uh -huh. Cushy. 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 What is that? Okay. Teacher. What is cushy? Cushy is like, a, he said, right? He said, you need to do the hard work to complete something. You cannot leave a, a, a stone unturned, right? Like incomplete. You need to complete it. You need to do all the things to complete something. 
Because if you go just by the cushy things, you will never achieve big things. It's like another cushy way to say like easy. Like easy. Yeah. But uh, it's yes. even it's even more than easy. It's something that is incomplete. No, no. It, it's, it's basically easy, easy, but it's it's easier than easy. <laughs> I, I, I don't know okay. if you. I don't know if you okay, understand okay. my point, okay. right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 It's like, for example, imagine that um, what we're going to have a, a let's say a, a barbecue, right? So everybody's going to prepare. Let's say that Claudia will prepare the meat, right? Monica is going to make the rice. Good. Carlos Antonio is going to make the salad. Uh, let's say Ernesto is going to grill the meat. Everybody's is working, right? But Darío will say, uh, I will buy the soda. <laughs> That's the, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. That's his contribution, Cushy. right? Cushy, that All is right. the cushy activity, cushy. like the easiest activity. Or I don't know when you were in school, but I remember when we were in high school, for example, we were a group of five, for example, doing homeworks or projects. And uh, so, some of us were working, but there was only one that was only, um just paying for the photocopies or for the uh -huh. i don't know if you remember that so that is cushy that is cushy right and don't worry I, i'm gonna pay for the photocopies right so that's your contribution the cushy things mm -hmm. yes so cushy uh it will never take you to uh something big yes so we got two new words right bashful cushy and naysayers maybe. Good, uh, now uh, uh, we're gonna uh, work with the person that you were working yesterday. Let's say, uh, Medardo, what, what was the homework from yesterday? Uh, someone sent, uh-huh. Yes, uh, we have to talk with a partner. Uh-huh, sorry. Okay, not a problem. Uh, um about that how if we have ten thousand dollars what what can you do for example so what would you do it uh where would you get it from for a business or something like that uh, or if how different is your from the competence or something like that, if we have a business, or we are an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. entrepreneur. I have a lot of problem with this. Problems word. with that word. Entrepreneur. 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 Yes. Entrepreneur. Yes. Entrepreneur. It, yes. Uh, basically, the idea was like imagine that uh, if you were given, hypothetically speaking, uh, $10,000 to create something, sell something, produce something, or distribute something, what would you do? Right? What kind of entrepreneurial ideas would you implement? Uh, would you, someone said, for example, I forgot who said, I, I would uh, start like uh, bringing cars, fixing cars, and selling cars. I don't know. But then you need to explain, like, uh, how you're going to do it, where you're going to get it from, uh, how is your product different from the other ones, uh, what are the uh, a, like offers and prices that you have. And the last question is it profitable? Why do you think that will be profitable? Yes. So, and you have five minutes to talk about that. Imagine ten thousand dollars. What would you do with that? So basically, uh, have any idea and, and talk about that idea. That's what we were doing yesterday. And uh, uh, let me see. Uh, so, Claudia, who were you working with? I was with Darío. Okay. So let, let me see. Um, and Alexis, you were with uh, Archie, right? Yeah, with Archie, teacher. With Archie. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me get someone. Claudia, you were with, uh, again? Darío. With Darío, teacher. With Darío. Okay. Darío. Sir, yes. I remember I worked with Jacqueline, I think. With Jacqueline? Is that correct? You were working yes. with Anna? There you go. Yes. Thank you. Marla, who were you working with, Marla? 
with, with Tatiana. With uh, Tatiana. Tatiana. Good. Uh, Carlos Ortega. Uh, I was working with Monica. With uh, Monica. All right. Yep. So, Coto, Mr. Coto. With Jose. Medardo, right? Yes. All right, thank you. Uh, let me get the other one. Uh, er, la, Ernesto. Guillermo, who were you working with? Guille? With Vilma. Yeah. Vilma. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me see the other one. And uh, Leslie? Who would you I was working? working with Vanessa. Vanessa Escobar. Vanessa, okay. And uh, let me see. Uh, Michael, who were you working with? Was working with Jocelyn. With uh, Jocelyn, okay. And uh, the other ones, let me see. Uh, Jaime, well, Jaime is new and Ernesto was not here, so you're going to work together. Okay. And yes, Jaime and Ernesto. Yes, Jaime and uh, Ernesto. I, and Rodolfo and. Okay. I was working. Uh huh. Teacher. Yes. I was working with, uh, with Rodolfo. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't attend yesterday. yesterday. Yep, I attended class yesterday. But... Oh, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Yes, it's true. So, not a problem. <laughs> Okay, so Rodolfo and Ernesto, so I need to send someone to number 10. Okay, so Thomas, how about you, Thomas? Who were you working with, Thomas? Thomas? I that it was I'm with, sorry? With Ernesto. With Ernesto. Ernesto as well? Okay. Yes. Uh, and I, then... Uh, I, I remember that I was with, with Ernesto. Okay, not a problem. Let me just give me a second. Okay. You're going to have a few minutes to organize, and then you need to come back and explain me that. So you have a few minutes to talk and then we return. So, Just give me a moment, yes. Um, so I am missing two, yes. Just give me a moment, uh, James, uh, Guillermo. Okay. Jacqueline, Guillermo. All right. Okay. So. Okay. I'm sorry. Yes. Just give me a second. So I think it's going to be a uh, uh, James and Thomas. I imagine this, uh, James. You, imagine you're given because uh, last topics we were talking about like uh, e-commerce, like online uh, e-commerce, like selling or buying things online. So uh, one of the exercises was to imagine that you were given ten thousand dollars to create any idea, sell something, produce something. What would you sell? What would you distribute? You with Thomas. Imagine you have that money. What would you do? Okay. So you need to think um, about something, a product, and how is your product, how you're going to get it, and how would you distribute it? Okay. It, it is the same idea for Thomas and I, or, we, yeah. or I will discuss my idea with him, and he will discuss his idea with me. No, it's the same idea for oh, both. It is the same idea. The same idea. Okay. You, you will discuss the same idea, and you will need to tell us what is your idea. 
we, we have to, to 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 choose one product for example one product one product yes. for example you can okay. say that like what one girl said i would like to distribute cars because with ten thousand dollars so then uh, i can bring for example two cars let's say right i can bring two cars and then i will have money to repair those cars so then if i sell those cars so uh you're gonna start this process maybe i don't know any idea all right so that's okay. what you have to do let me visit the other ones while you organize your ideas okay go for okay. it okay teacher. all right okay Jaime. <laughs> In the in the companies, for example, okay. uh, or a, a person. Yep. Okay. Um, how would you do it? Um, well, first we have to look for a, a good uh, ubication. Yes. Uh, and the second one, we have to to buy the products that you need uh, to look for alliances with beauty suppliers. We're, we're, we're talking about a, a beauty salon, teacher. All right. Uh, so it's the same, uh, uh, okay, a beauty salon. Nice, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes, but that gives you the service in a um, good business and always uh, can give you a service delivery. Okay. Mm -hmm. I go to your company or go to your house. Your house. To give you the 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 service. Yes, I have seen those cases, but but it's a little bit more yes. expensive, right? Because you're moving to the place. Yes. All right. Yes. Could but be. Uh, mm -hmm. Could be. Uh, 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 I don't know how to say this. Something like offered different service. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not thinking to offer a service cheaper than your okay. competitors. But with, with a first service, for example, we are going to offer a normal place, a normal price to convince uh, the, the all the clients <laughs> that we had a, a, a people uh, I don't know how to say this Claudia who people works very well with the penal or something like that okay <laughs> like uh, uh, her, her stylist or hairdressers yes 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 hairdressers yes. Hair yes. Style. Mm -hmm. mm. so Hello, okay because yeah, like, like, like professional hair, hairdressers. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Hairdressers. Okay. 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 Yes, yeah, so these people, uh, and but there's a lot of competence. How, how would you deal with that? Well, I, I think the the service is the first one because I, I experiment that you always are looking for something that is special to you, to the service, to, to, to give, um, for example, good, good tips. Uh, it is, um, I think a, a, a key in this one is um, to be better in, a, in a, a, about the, the attention that you give but also the uh, products, the, the, the way that you, to, you give the, the service, um, you have to, 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 to have a, a good team, two people, two, two persons uh, that give the service. Okay. Um, and maybe you, you can establish the little business in your house. It's another way to do it. And yes, and, and that you reduce costs, right? You're not paying for a local. Yes. 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 But it depends where, where your house is as well, right? Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> if yes. you live in a place that is not like a well-known, so then people might not go to your place. 
but yeah. but if you live in a, in a very nice place then yes people will go yes or with, with, with many with many families for example it's a it's a, a good business because if you are in a, a place or a son there are many <laughs> many houses could be <laughs> could be yes it could be all right Yes, uh, and uh, even though uh, this kind of service is a little bit expensive, right? Yes. 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 And how about products? Are you going yes, to but... buy them or bring them from another place? Well, there are suppliers about this kind of product that you need, uh, for example, uh, the chairs are special, uh, tables, uh, but we have in our country a place to sell you this kind of product. Okay. And maybe you can, maybe you can contact to a, a person that has in the past a, a beauty salon and he's selling, for example, everything. <laughs> it could be, yes. Okay, just mm -hmm. continue. L let me visit the other ones. Just a brief moment. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Supposed to, to talk about the topic. Okay. Ready? Are what, you what ready? What was the original question? Teacher, what was the original question that we okay. have to answer? Well, uh, we have just only have to propose the, the business. Yes, like for example, what kind of business are you gonna propose? And uh, if it is a product, like uh, where are you gonna bring or get these products from? Uh, another question okay. was like, uh, and how are you going to distribute it? Are you going to have like a, an area, a local or a store, or, or is it gonna be online only uh, with web pages on social media? Or uh, the other question was if, uh, how is your, your product maybe different from the competence? Because you know, nowadays there are a lot of competence everywhere. So how is your product difference? And, and how about, for example, offers and promotions? And do you think that's profitable? And do you think it's profitable? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's profitable. It's uh, rentable, I don't know how to say it. Another, another, another word in English. Sorry. Profitable. That's the word. Profitable. Prof profitable. It's okay. Profitable. I, I, I do understand that it is the same meaning of, of, of rentable. Rentable. Yeah. Yes. That, that, that is the no. meaning. Yes. That's the meaning. Well, when okay. I say profitable, okay. I, yes. I, I don't know how to say it with another, with a similar, uh, meaning. I don't know how to say pro profitable with, with a different word with the same meaning in English. Okay, and that will be like with revenue. Revenue. Revenue, yes. It, it gives you rev revenue. Revenue, right? Money, right? It gives you revenue. money for you, right? It's like what, what you gain at the end. Okay, revenue. Thanks. You're welcome. And so it, what is your what is that, it about? It's about what? Yeah. It's about what? Sorry, go, go ahead. Go ahead, Thomas. It's, it's, about, it's about exchange Bitcoin to, to dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is the is the <laughs> Is the, it, it, is the, it, is the trend, it is the trend the topic, topic, so we <laughs> do believe that we will succeed. <laughs> okay, and do you think that that will be profitable? Yeah, yeah the, for the idea that we have, but I don't know if right now it is the time to explain you or if or we should wait. Yeah, we, we, we will talk right now in a moment. Yes, I was, uh, you oh. know, Planning to have like a, each uh, like a pair to explain, but that's gonna take too much time. So what we're gonna do is like uh, we're gonna go with another partner, and you will explain that to your partner and vice versa, because otherwise it's gonna okay. take too much time. One by one by one is too much time. 
Yes. So, so yeah, understand. That's what we're gonna do in a moment. Yes. Actually, um, I'm going to change right now. Just give me a second. Let, let me send them. Uh, There's a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. Um, I live in front of a uh, main street, and, and in fact, in front of a, of a bus stop. So I always have those those noise. Really, where it is, is that? It, it, it is horrible in, in in the in the early morning because <laughs> I can sleep. <laughs> and and where do you live, James? Uh, 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 I live in Mexicanos, uh, in the area of La Sacamila. I don't know if you know yes. where it is. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, nearly, nearly in the same street of, of La Meller, the chocolate factory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So in that street. All right. Which is the main street become which the one that you used to go from makes me, me, me it's in mexicano downtown <laughs> to to la sacamil to la sacamil okay. okay yes all right yes just give me a second i, I i'm going to change partners and how about you thomas where do you live thomas i live in in san antonio wow. San Antonio Abad is, is near to the, La Chulona. <laughs> I don't know if you, if you uh, know. Yes, I, the, I've the, heard the, about the, it. La, La Constitución is, is the street. The Constitution. I mean, in the, the Constitution, yeah. It's the, it's the street that um, from, from the National University, the end of that street. Okay. All right, sounds good. San Antonio Valley Street is in the end. And have you, um, like how long have you been living there all your life? Yeah, all my life. I, I live, right now I live in, in my my wife's house, but it's near to my, to, to my so it, it's not uh, a big difference. <laughs> Okay, very nice. So just give me a second. I, I need to send you. So now you need to talk to and explain to someone else, right? What, what's your idea? Because otherwise, one by one, it will be too much time. We don't have. So <laughs> let me say. Right? Go, uh, Thomas, and uh, yes, you can go now. Teacher, I hired some teacher 
to they uh, in these gyms he she wants to hire some teacher to care the kids and at the same time uh, they she wants to con uh, to hire aerobics uh, or pilates or zumba and it's a good uh, way to invest that money because uh, you just only invest for a music or some to toys at the same time with the kids. And maybe you can start some class with the moms with her, her kids. And that's a way thing that is, will be a profitable uh, for that gym. It's profitable. Yes. Profitable. Yes. Profitable, yes. It's better. Profitable. It's better than if you buy some cloth, cloths from Panama, because if you want to travel in this country uh, to buy some clothes uh, and bring some in your country, the disadvantage is that people don't pay the perfume or clothes, or clothes that you sell it. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Jacqueline. And Tatiana, what was your idea? Okay. Um, uh, we have been planning if we have $10 million, Ten thousand dollars. We would start a new 000. restaurant. With ten thousand, okay. Ten thousand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ten million is like okay. uh, yes, extremely rich. Yeah, ten thousand, <laughs> let's say. 000. Yes. Okay. Um. And it is a big process to start a restaurant, but. First, we will look for the establishment in a area where there is a lot of commerce and a lot of um, consumers, consumidores, verdad? Consumers. Consumers, yes. And consumers. How do you pronounce? Consumers. Consumers, okay. And then we buy all the materials that are we needed from kitchen equipment and to a small decoration the de decorations and also hiding the right stuff and get a good publicity or is there a good advertising campaign for the restaurant um I, I don't know <laughs> and and, and is... how is, is is it gonna be like different from uh the the competitors like uh there's a lot of competence so what would you offer differently and i think that for me one of the most important things the restaurant should have is a a good customer service good food or meal and a good environment and that is why i will take a that my restaurant has each of these fundamental points okay very nice and uh, would you have like a, a specific uh kind of food or, or in general all kind of food or just maybe uh meats or <laughs> or, or <laughs> what is it alitas, <laughs> alitas. yes <laughs> okay all right like buffalo like <laughs> buffalo wings like buffalo, buffalo wings, like fly wings. Okay, 
All right, yes, it's, it's, it's very, very they, they are very delicious. Those are very delicious. The buffalo wings are very delicious. A little bit spicy, but they're good. Yes. So Ma, looks like it looks like you good. you love this kind of food, uh, this kind of wings. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Very yes. nice. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just give me a moment. Don Jacqueline Thomas Why what what finish well maybe not right yes but uh yeah the idea was here it says the last part the last part was is like organize a brief presentation on the results of your discussion with your partner, right? While you were discussing about creating a, maybe an entrepreneurial ideas or a business and share your presentation with the class. But that would have taken too much time because w w this is a big group. So then to go one by one is too much time. Yes, so then we need to spend like more than two hours for, for only, you know, for this. That's why we needed to do it just with the other person. But that was the idea to organize a brief presentation of your discussion with your classmate and then share with the class. But then, yes, it's too much time. It will take too much time. Yes, that's why we need. Tomorrow, we're going to have some abbreviations and I send you an audio. I don't know if you could see it in the WhatsApp. Tomorrow, we'll have some listening uh, activities. And uh, this vocabulary is there when you have C2C. C to Z, and this is an uh, abbreviation that stands for consumer to consumer. And you have another one. Let me see, uh, Jocelyn, help me with the next one. B to B. Uh huh. What does it stand for? Uh, what does, what does it stand I for? Find out. I, uh -huh. just, I just read down. Business to business. It's a business to business, correct, right? Business to business, depending the uh, what kind of uh, a business they have, right? They sometimes they don't deal with consumers, only business to business. Yes. Uh, next, uh, let me see. Uh, let me get the other one. Uh, Alexis, C to B. Consumer to business. Very good. Next, Claudia, the last one. The last one is business to consumer, B2C. B2C. These, these are some common abbreviations and related with business. And also uh, we will see some vocabulary and some expressions related, related with business. Uh, like for example, in a business, when I said uh, the expression, uh, 800 pounds gorilla. What do you understand about that? 800 pounds gorilla. Mm -hmm. That's going to be your homework for tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to talk about business and some abbreviations related with business, business to business, and some expressions or, or words related with, uh, you know, companies to companies. Or I said uh, 800. This one. 800 pounds, right? Gorilla. Pounds. Gorilla. 800 pounds gorilla. 
It's an expression, it's a word. 800 pounds gorilla. Okay, so tomorrow I'm gonna give you some expressions that we're gonna use. I know that it's time and uh, so you just want to go back maybe to your bed right now. So thank you everybody for joining. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. So have a great evening. Enjoy it. Thank see you, you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.